the cup of audacity that some people sip from is literally like, where, where are you getting this from? Where? I would really like to know because I just got off the phone with a listing agent who I called him. He has a listing. I'm interested. And I wanted the 411 because I noticed that it had fallen out of escrow. So I wanted to know, and I asked him, Hey, straight up, is there something wrong with the property? His reply was no, it was something wrong with the buyer. And I was like, Oh, that's kind of a strong statement. Can you clarify? So then he proceeds to tell me that the buyers, it, I'll just give you the numbers. So the property was listed for, I think it was like just under, it was like 950 some odd thousand. The buyers came in and they offered a million and they decided that rather than putting all cash into the deal, they wanted to get a loan. Totally their right, whatever, do it. So then in order to get that loan, obviously they need an appraisal done. The appraisal comes back in, okay? And it appraises the house for 1.025 million. So their offer is at 1 million. The appraisal came in at 1.025, which in a normal world is a good thing, okay? You're paying less than what the property appraised for. That should be a good thing. Do you know, this is according to the listing agent, those buyers turned around and asked for a $125,000 credit. And so the listing agent was like, um, why are you asking for a credit? Like nothing came back wrong in the report. Nothing came back wrong in the appraisal that you guys ordered. So can you help me to understand? And the buyers were like, the original buyers, they were like, oh, well, yeah, well, we don't like the condition of the property and there's so much work that needs to be done with it. And, but, and the listing agent's like, well, there's nothing that was pointed out in the report and it appraised over what your offer and they're like no no no, we don't care like there's no way that like the seller is going to let it go for just $125,000 difference and guess what they ba got bounced out of escrow because there was no way because it didn't make sense it literally didn't make sense like why would you ask for a $125,000 price reduction like if you just wanted to tie up the property and to bully the seller just say that but like it's it's just I, like if that is your strategy as a real estate investor, baby, you are in 2009. That stuff is not going to work. It is a seller's market. Sellers have options and they're not going to give you money for the sake of just giving you money. That's not how it works. Like, come on.